Remember this blank from last week's popcorn experiment? Well, in this episode, I'm going to turn it into something cool. So my plan for this blank is to fill all these voids in with a different coloured resin and then once that's cured we can turn it on the lathe. Now I think the best way to do this is to put it into my vacuum chamber and suck all that resin into the voids. Now I'm going to use a slow curing resin for this one, that way we can keep it in the vac chamber for about 30 minutes to an hour, that way we can try and get all these voids filled. I've got myself some red pigment and some red glow in the dark, so hopefully with these we can make it look like an explosion. Now I'm going to use the same container that we used to do the experiment. I'm going to pour a little bit of resin in the bottom, then the blank and then some resin over the top. Hopefully that's enough to help draw all this resin into the voids. Don't worry about this extra stuff, I got other plans for that. That's looking pretty good. All the air seems to be coming out, so I'm just going to leave it in there now until it's fully cured. You know, one of the most common questions that I get asked is why I cure inside a pressure pot and not a vacuum chamber? Well, this is the reason why. You get left with this foamy bubble look on top here. Now, if the resin cures before the vac chambers had a chance to get rid of all the air, this is what happens. So the difference between the two is the vacuum chamber draws all the air out, whereas the pressure pot squishes the bubbles that small that you can't see them. So if you're casting something that you think will have air trapped inside, it's best to put it in the vacuum chamber first to draw that air out, and then pop it in the pressure pot. Now the reason I didn't do it with this blank is that I'm not too concerned about what happens on top here, because I'm more worried about this middle piece. So you can see here that the vac chamber did its job, it pulled all the resin into the voids, so now all I have to do is glue this onto a waste block and we'll turn it on the lathe.
My original plan was to try and keep some of this red top, but as you can see here with all the air bubbles, it's just been chipping out. I've even got some air bubbles in the middle here, so I'm just going to have to go down as small as I can, and hopefully we can still keep some of this top. I was about to start sanding this when I noticed that I exposed a few of these fractures. So I've sealed them up with some UV resin and now we can start sanding. Well, the sanding and polishing is all finished. So all we have to do now is check this out. Now in this next clip, you'll notice that I put a black light on it. It really enhanced all the fractures, almost like it was under a microscope. Now unfortunately the glow in the dark didn't quite work out as I'd hoped, but I will put a photo at the end of this video, that way you guys can check it out. Well that's it from me on this one, hope you guys like it, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.